February 5th, 2024. Trust me, I'd rather to jump in a icy cold river right now than do the stuff I do. Or let's go, I don't know, crazy diving or something like this. Some crazy shit I would rather do than this stuff. Brace yourself for at least five hours. For me, it's a rape, a top of the rape. For you, this is just another video. For many, it's a form of entertainment. But all right, let's go and let's get it done. A lot of thoughts I have on my mind doing this stuff that are extremely unpleasant. My thoughts on the people who barricaded themselves inside of this house. Since literally my 16 years of age, and I was born in 1971, which probably makes it sometimes in 1986, since 1986, since 1987, since like 1987. 1988, beginning in 1988, I had people whom actually I'm looking forward, it's not people, it's not animals, it's not people, it's a scum. Employed by Nova Mesta Police Station, I'm dreaming about every fucking day, night and day. Soon, hopefully, I will meet in person and talk with these people eye to eye in a way, in a form they are used to, the way they used to talk with me. It's a scum. They're not people. They're not animals. They're not even terrorists. These are the people that closest description to these people would be hitmen. They refer to the Russian presidents as their presidents. They refer to Vladimir Putin as their president and demanded from me to acknowledge that a Russian president is a Slovenian president. Beginning the 1988, Slovenian police, Nova Mesta police, criminals employed by the Nova Mesta police station, began to deliver me drugged up to the Nova Mesta postal office. That's a main postal office in the city of the Nova Mest. I'm going to demonstrate to you. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I entered the wrong number. That is pathetic. What, am I going to get this map or what? This computer has got probably about one gigabyte of RAM. And it feels like he's fucking afraid of the map even from the Google or something like that. It's so sad that it's impossible to even tell. Horror. 
It's not going to be a fucking map. Now he's actually giving me Mali Slotnik. Uh, you you realize I'm clicking on a map and I don't get map. I don't get the fucking map. Just change the browser. Still, I don't get the map. I don't know how the hell that works. Same shit. And that's what I'm going to say. Fuck this. I don't know what this is about, folks, but basically this is the way it works. If you click on it, you don't get the fucking map. It drives you nuts like this. And then you will have to go here. And eventually you will have to look for the fucking map. And if you don't find the map, like right now, I don't I don't see the fucking map here. You will have to write manually like this fucking map. And then you click on it. And then actually it's going to display the fucking map. Basically, this is the way it works. It never did like this to me. But it does now, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's see if one gigabyte RAM a laptop is going to ever made it. He's got difficulties. I think we're not going to make it, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom myself like this. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you got to find a way, whichever way you know. So that's basically the way this is. You can make it there, you make it wrong, whichever way you do, it's better than none. Five computers was destroyed so that I would do to you the stuff you see right there. Here I'm going to stop a little bit. You do understand five computers, they destroyed me, so I would use this computer. Police did not take time to demonstrate me just how much effort am I going to have to, basically not how much effort, they uh, tutored me on how to merge the videos through the Vimeo. By the way, Vimeo executives were involved in this genocide as well. So they shouldn't have a problem because they're going to cover them. I don't know what they're going to say about one another, but Vimeo executives told me, promised me that I would not be even capable to use their services to merge the video, knowing that I would use a shit laptop like this one that probably has less than, it feels like it's got fucking 500 megabytes RAM or something like that. A laptop which a neighbor, Method Yerman, a criminal employed at Novo Mesto Police Station as an investigator, would constantly use and then pass one on to his brother Cyril Yerman, this is neighbor here. He, however, knowing that I would be raped into this laptop, pass one on to his sister, kids. They would use one under the table on the side just to be safe out of the suspicion. 
tutored me how I am going to merge the videos in the future. This fucking video does not have a capacity to make videos. Actually, this laptop is what I'm trying to say. It does not have a fucking capacity. It's a fucking mentally retarded laptop. For one to use this laptop as a video tool to burn the movies on the fucking laptop, uh, you need to deliver yourself a fire extinguisher before it would blow one up. It gets hot. It's all fucked up. And you cannot even load 2.2 gigabyte size video into the Windows Movie Maker with this laptop. Two new laptops I bought were destroyed. Not modified, but fucked up. Not by me. One tablet I ordered from China is new. Instead arrived in a version of 8 inch, not 10 as I paid for. And it appeared to be of crazy old features with some kind of Lillipop loaded on. Android, maybe, I don't know, 4, uh, without any kind of RAM again. Uh, really a garbage tool, and also used worn out item, it appeared. Yes. It fucking hurts my brain. New laptop I never even used. I took it to the police. To support the proofs about one not being new was purchased by the man that was a Lenovo that police have even confiscated for some time uh, kept at the police station for I don't know how long for my entire duration in Belarus and in well pretty much it's summarized to Belarus A buyer suggested of that laptop that laptop even had other parts than from Lenovo installed on one and he had to put considerable amount of work and money into it so it would work. Police, however, found nothing wrong with it. How many they count now? Four? They used Fujitsu. It was a really nice laptop I bought in Poland. Fucked up. Upon arrival to Slovenia, immediately, instantly, according to MK Ultra scenario too, and even before they fuck it up the cables, the charger, and so on and so forth. Before I even would take one, before I even received one, before I even pick one up from the local Allegro box in Poland, in Luch city, in the center of the Poland. What can I tell you? They really know how to predict about why you're going to need Vimeo to put the videos, merge the videos together, and even why I should even pay attention to the OBS to make sure that the counter, the seconds are counting before I go and I start to play with other issues. They really know that it's really easy to disconnect one from the internet, from the unprotected internet, once you fuck up the firewall on the internet, on the router, and so on. You know, you go to the store, you buy a new router, and either that router is completely fucked up before you come home, that's what it feels like. It feels strange where you pay 100 bucks for the camera, and the next day the camera is broken. It feels strange when you go to the store, you buy a new router, and the next day the router is broken. It feels strange when you buy a computer and computer is broken next day. This is how my life was. Fuck it. You buy 30 watches, and the next day the fucking watch is fucked up. You buy the fucking cables, and the cable is fucked up before you get one in hands. Everything fucked up. And somehow nobody cares. 
Nobody cared. Nobody cares. Show must go on. And the show goes on. Thanks to the seats that are occupied at the United Nations, thanks to the seats that are occupied at so-called Amnesty International, you're better off. You didn't even fucking exist in the first place. By the way, this is just the APP, Ekonomsko Propagandni Program, my commercial, basically. Because when you're a shit organization, you shouldn't fucking exist. Because when you're a shit organization, you destroy other organizations because you're shit. And the shit stinks and it's contagious. And it's those that do work that fall under your jurisdiction sooner than later because corruption, it's impossible to stop. When it's coming from the top of the pyramid, when it's stinking from the Buckingham Palace, it's the whole world that stinks. The whole world is stank. It's so stank that at the European Union Parliament in Brussels or at Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, the truth cannot get through the fucking doorsteps. It cannot enter the fucking room. Every seat is purchased by the special lobby. Every seat, every fucking seat that you see inside of those rooms is being paid for to stink. The same shit like at a police station, at the court, at everywhere else. They paid shit to stink. They pay shit to sit and to stink so the truth would not enter the room. You understand? That's basically how it worked. They, they fucking killed somebody in the middle of the London on a main intersection or at the main intersection in Berlin or at Washington, D.C. or New York and there will be a million people around. Still, if inconvenient for the top of this pyramid that stank the entire world, not a trace of the truth would come out tomorrow. The video you would post, if you somehow would video record it, would get exactly zero views, just as you have seen on my video program. And before you would get to share one, or if you would or did, you would hear this. That means not only that you wouldn't have a job if they were already have to make it to your door, that means that you would become a fly on the wall under your apartment building because you would go for a walk from your terrace. That's how it works in the Western world. That's a reality about the Western world. That's how it works. When the real things are, when the real deals happen, that's basically the way it works. This is the way they maintain. Well, exactly what the fuck do they maintain, people? Now I'm going to ask you, what do they maintain? Who are these people to maintain this? Who are they? What are they? Who are these people? Who are these police officers? Are these partisans? Are these the people that fought against the Germans during the World War II? Are these some decorated veterans that gave their lives for the homelands, for the better world, for the better tomorrow? Who the fuck are they, these terrorists here that do the stuff like this? And the terrorists that sit inside of the Strasbourg and at Interpol and at Europol and at FBI and at Central Intelligence Agency. Are these the people that have actually contributed something to the United States of America? Are these the people who made any difference? I know the Queen when Heil Hitler eight years ago. How come are these people now so powerful all of a sudden? Where do they get the power from to rule the world like this? With a complete disdain for human life, for the laws, for the treaties, for the constitution. 
for the human rights, for the United Nations. Who the fuck are they to have this kind of privileges? To place on their private list, kill for hire people, private assassins, people who yesterday murdered for Josip Broz Tito, people who today murder for Vladimir Putin. And it doesn't have to be for Vladimir Putin. What right do they have to murder? Who the fuck are they? I'm just trying to collect myself because it's too much of this bullshit. It's too much of this bullshit. Think about... 32 years being barricaded inside of this home by the novel master police, tortured inside, tormented inside. And doing this kind of stuff, like I said, this is going to be five hours at least long. It's not a good stuff. It's not a good day. I don't get paid for it, you know, they do. This video about the January 25th 2004 24 postal delivery if you ask why well fuck it because 50 percent of the video is deaf in other words my camera ola phone android smartphone did failed to audio record 50% of the movie, over 50%, one hour and 10 minutes is without voice recording. Luckily for me, the video recording is right there in front of your eyes. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to supplement that lost audio recording, whichever way the fuck I know. And I'm not happy because this definitely was the best video I have made so far about Slovenian postal delivery. And when I think about, I spent two days trying to fix this video without success. Uh, it just makes me a little bit more miserable. Actually, a whole lot miserable. This office, this postal office you see right there, main postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto, delivered here to this postal office by the Novo Mesto police since 1996, 1997, 19, 1997, I would say, from, since 1997, I was delivered to this postal office. The postal office, the way you see right there in 1997, which was still Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, or in other words, Greater Serbia. Slovenia was a colony of the Greater Serbia, ethnic Serbian state known as Yugoslavia. It looked much, much different, this place here. Um, it was in 96, I think it was like in a process. They started to renovate. They started to change things. Um... This is the main postal office in the Novo Mesto. In the back here that you see the offices where I would spend a lot of time inside being also tortured. No, I did not spend no fucking time here other than for being tortured. Those pertain to directors. Uh, also, they have some workers in there. 
Uh, this was not the only location where I was tortured. I was tortured at every location when it comes to the postal office, also at the one on Slotnik and so on. But this year, this was the main postal place for the city of the Novo Mesto. where I would be delivered by the police, Slovenian police, at like 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, I would be delivered here to this place here that you see, like beginning 1988, drugged up uh, and tormented inside of the building by directors, by director, uh, harassed, intimidated by the police, jacked up two or three hours before they would even open postal office at seven o'clock in the morning. They would already have me inside, and it would feel like not being only like subjected to MK Ultra, but I mean completely fucked up, stoned in the head. Uh like when well, you're drugged up and like literally fucking exhausted, brain killed completely, like totally fucking stoned without even any getting any fucking sleep. Because obviously they would get me the night earlier, I would go sleep maybe, I don't know, maybe like at ten o'clock or something like this, and at three o'clock in the morning they would have me at the at the postal office, they would start to torment me, torture me, harass me. Four o'clock in the morning, I would have to watch director that would do the stuff and would talk to me and would not allow me to sleep, simply, inside of this place. Now, this director, I did identify her. I did identify this director from this postal office I did manage to identify her uh, but before I go on this is the first thing I will clarify in this video um, the director who spoke to me on January the 24 yeah, January the 24 of 2024 yeah, there are audio recordings here. This director who stated to me after I received the SMS on January the 24th, 2024, in fact, they don't have anything for me. Um, and even that the SMS is not from Slovenian Postal Services, I'm going to translate that stuff. I don't want to say something that is not I want to be factual as much as possible. Uh, this director whom I have identified the next day, which was on January the 25th, yeah, she made me come back. This director uh, made herself clear about who she was, partially. Only partially. Uh, they hope they would fuck me. No matter what. What you saw over there is post office Novamesto. According to her dialect, I didn't pay attention to. I paid attention to her looks which I immediately recognized her for who she was. She was a director, also involved in torture. Uh, however, according to her dialect, she is from Maribor, which she insisted on generated 24 for the package is located. To make things a little bit more clear, 
about this director of postal office in Novo Mesto, whom I have identified the next day, on January the 25th of 2024. She stated to me she's actually not a native to Maribor, but that she is originally that she's from near Maribor. I don't know, Slovenska, Bistrica, Orceli, or whatever. The thing about her is that I uh, personally would be fuck at art if I would go and take a single word for it, whatever she had to say. Because this was one of the worst liars involved in MK Ultra case. No. For what I know her is that she substituted, she became a new director at the Novo Mesto postal office after the first director, which was also female, left. And that director was a Satan. That was a director that was some kind of something related to NOB, uh, again to the partisans, to the National Liberation Front. Fuck you not. Fuck you not. It was a fuckabund that post at the postal office that had nothing to do with any kind of national resistance other than being affiliated to Milan Kuchan, affiliated to Ljubljana, to the Milan Kuchan, Pahor, Fayon, Danilo Tur, etc., 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 to the fraction which previously was known as Zveza Komunistov Yugoslavia, Association of the Communists of Federative Republic of Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavia was a greater Serbian Chetnik state, and these people literally were involved directly, as I pointed out, in ethnic cleansing even in Ukraine. There was no communists in this picture. The only communism that remained on the picture was affiliated with the political interests. These people who wanted to create a big Serbia out of all republics that you see right there out on a map were dedicated Chetniks affiliated with the Slobodan Milosevic's movement from Serbia. Even despite fact that Slovenian nation elected Milan Kuchan as their first president of Slovenia, which is totally fuckatarded, but this is Slovenia. Uh, this is how it is in Slovenia. They learned to eat. Slovenians learned to eat from the bucket, from the, from the swines, already before the country even officially commenced as an independent country. So they learned to roll in shit, in lies, before the country was even established. So it's not surprising. They had with the communism as much as I have to do today with the last year's snow. This woman who met me at the Novo Mesto Postal Office appeared. She worked at a Maribor um, because it was the police that would deliver me not only to Ljubljana Postal Office, to the Tsarina, to the where they have this uh, important stuff, postal offices through Ljubljana, but also to Maribor. And at Maribor, there would be this ladies, uh, maybe two or three even ladies that were good looking that I was expressed interest during MK Ultra with the lady that was at the postal office not in her prime years uh, and a real, real, real filthy chameleon that would do absolutely everything possible to even protect previous director by creating a special kind of makeup 
that would somewhat match the makeup of the lady that was before at the city of the Novo Mesto. So yeah, I can tell you that this is not the original lady from the Novo Mesto. The lady from the Novo Mesto, director from the Novo Mesto, was somewhere from Gabriel or something like this. She was from Novo Mesto, that's one thing. And the second thing is, in Maribor, it was really, really fucked up when they delivered me to Maribor because they had another lady that looked just like her, but was much younger. And that one that was younger, I hit on that one. While on this one, I really did not. And they were switching the locations between Maribor and Novo Mesto during MK Ultra to, complete, to, to create complete confusion, complete lunacy, just as they were switching home for elderly of Celia with the home for elderly with Novo Mesto, just as they were switching nurses from Lirthi, from uh, medical staff from Maribor, such was the case. I have identified the guy at General Hospital Novo Mesto with General Hospital Novo Mesto. So Maribor with Novo Mesto, anywhere from uh, medical staff all the way to postal office workers. And it was not about Novo Mesto only. They involved people also from other locations. They would switch them. When I would go out there and identify, they had what is known as a ghost workers. Ghost workers are people that work, let's say, let's say you have a mailman or you have a, a nurse uh, or you have whoever the fuck you have. It doesn't matter. Let's say, I don't know, from Copper or from Ljubljana or whatever, and would depose into you when they would have you drugged up. Yeah, MK Ultra, it's all about identify me. You must identify me, right? Right? And so, go fucking identify me if you can. When I was employed at Maribor or Copper or Ljubljana or whatever fucking location, but whenever you were delivered, like there was the case with a General Hospital Novo Mesto, a lot. During MK Ultra, to the father whom they had at the hospital or at the home for elderly people, while being taken care of the people that work on other locations, completely other locations than the one in Novo Mesto. And what happens next? You start identifying people, and once you start to identify people, and you fall into the situation with a person whom you go, and he gave you the false account as per how long she works for at such and such place and so on, and this and that, or let's say a patient that was at the general hospital, Novo Mesto, and so on, or home for elderly people and so on. And you start to identify him. And you say, well, you were here since so on and so on. And you are from here and there. And I'll tell you, no, I'm not. I am from uh, another part of the country. And I have been here only for two months and stuff like that. What the fuck are you going to do then? Those are called ghost workers. Those are called ghost workers. Slovenian government employed many of them. So they completely try to disorient you, completely disown you of your right to interrogate basically people that were involved in, in the case so that you could use them as a proof or whatever. Yeah? We had plenty of that kind of stuff, yeah? So this lady just happened so worked on both locations. In location in Maribor at the postal office, as well as a location in Novo Mesto. And as I told you, she had a good agenda that had 
a goal to cover up a previous director, to cover up the ass for the previous director, and was affiliated to another lady from Maribor and so on, that was younger than she was and so on. Also with the dark hair and so on and so forth. Um, let's go to... This is one thing, okay? So I want to clarify. She... Um, she tried to fuck me with accent from Shtayarska region, which is this region here that I demonstrate to you, knowing that I would identify her as a director of the postal office of Novo Mesto. On And on which opportunity the next day when she was not present, I also made myself clear that she was the one involved in torture. She was. The torture portion, a good portion of the torture went also under her jurisdiction. And another part about the torture, she was involved in it. She commuted herself to Novo Mesto, literally from the city of the Maribor. She was a ghost worker, in other words, in the city of the Novo Mesto as a postal worker. And I don't care, even if she worked at postal offices in Maribor or did not, whatever the fuck her case was. You understand? She was the one who was involved in torture. One of the initial people who was involved in torture in the city of the Novo Mesto at the main postal office. That much about that setup, Novo Mesto police believe is going to even use one against me. No luck for you. I swear the big stone out of my heart right now when I did this. That wasn't bad stuff I did right now. Because it was a setup, because they believed they're going to even collect proofs, that they're going to even do the stuff to point out that they couldn't be, that they couldn't be involved in the torture. This lady was involved in torture since 1990 in a novel man. You understand me what I stated right now? Since 1990, this lady was already involved in torture in Novo Mesto City. Next to the other director that was the main director. In exactly the way I described to you. At this postal office, since 1988, Novo Mesto Police, since 1988, I don't know what it was, uh, but they had something else going on too that I have to still recall, but whatever. This video, however, as I stated, is dedicated to the delivery of items, which took place on January the 25th of 2024. Postal delivery via police, more stolen items, paid for AliExpress substituted with the wrong damage. Actually, it's worse. Actually, it's much worse than what I would even record originally on this video, for which I stated you, 50% of it, this is the file, basically. And you can see here, you can see the audio, it's up to, up to one hour and six minutes. Um, and then it's missing, like after one hour and six minutes, it's, it's just missing for the rest of the video. And the whole thing is two hours and 26 minutes long, really. Luckily, the camera did not stop video recording. Video is more important than audio. Even that this was the best video so far related to delivery of postal services packages that so far I have um, I have made. And just unfortunately, really, I failed, literally failed to... You know, as I do the transfer here, you can see that I just returned from the postal office on the 25th. And I transfer audio from two recorders and I failed to click recording so that I would have at least audio and could use one to supplement the missing audio here. I don't know how it happened. Maybe probably the SD card was too much loaded or something like this. And... Uh, 
I have no idea, all right? 50% of the video audio went missing, fuck it. Bad stuff. Bad stuff happening also with this shit here. Also with this, with this stuff here, I'm using this. Uh, bad stuff happening, exactly what I was told the case is going to be there in MK Ultra. they told me, when you will be doing your video recording and if your laptop is going to get hot and so on and so forth. Notice it that audio i have done it uh just yesterday when i recorded something else did not record audio the way it should for whatever reason keyboard started to give in and so on not the best laptop i had truly not the best laptop it feels like 500 megabyte laptop or something like that good for typing for the text and stuff like that uh and that's when it comes to that's about it I am going to start this video with what I came to realize was actually even poorly done in a way. Beginning of the video, I have actually even made some mistakes. I'm going to go over the entire video, two hours and 26 minutes, um, with a short explanation about what exactly we are dealing with here. The, maybe the beginning of this crazy thriller uh, because it's really fucking crazy. I mean, this shit is made in a such a way so that it would drive me insane as much as possible and even deter people away from watching my program as much as possible. Like, for instance, here I'm going to give you smell of dementia. Here you're going to get the good taste of dementia very quickly. I received the message, the SMS message, on January the 24th of 2024. Once I received the message, I stopped by at the postal office same day in the evening, just before they closed the postal office on January the 24th of 2024. And I talked to the lady whom I have identified the next day as a director of the postal office. Rightfully so. The ladies agreed that she was director, that she is a director of the postal office. This is the woman I already have spoke to you about earlier. And I dedicated her some time, how she commuted even from the Maribor. If she was not em employed full-time here in Novo Mesto, and if she was employed, she definitely was employed in the Novo Mesto. I would still get to meet her in the city of the Maribor at two postal uh, offices, at two branches in Maribor. They were taking me to two branches. I remember there were two sites in Maribor they would take me to, where she also would post as a full-time employee. Very, very fucked up. With another lady that somewhat with a black hair, just that she was younger and more appealing than her was her friend, her colleague. And they were contemplating on how they're going to fuck me, how we would do this and this and that. Yeah, yeah well, you're not going to fucking do anything. No, I tell you that. The SMS states on January the 24th, 2024, states me, we received the package. The number is CF310 and so on, and it ends with the SI. From the sender, Express One, Slovenia. Aha, uh -huh. they receive the package. So they say, we receive from. You will say, we receive. It becomes evident from the portal, from the website they provide below. Also for the tracking purposes, it belongs to the government services, to the postal government services of Slovenia. If I go further, this is the SMS evidently from Slovenian government, from Slovenian postal services, government services, which claims they have received packaging from the third party, from somebody whom they have contract with, 
or not, whatever the fuck, it doesn't matter because I specified as a final location of delivery the postal office I had demonstrated you earlier. That's basically this postal office, right? You understand me? This is the number one postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto. I specified, I requested my packages to be delivered to Posta Restante is known, to this postal office right here, where I would afterwards go and collect the package. So there's no way you can mistake in this building here, main postal office, with my address here at home and or Express One with Slovenian Postal Services. These are different things. Slovenian Postal Services are what I demonstrated you right there. Express One, that's a totally different story, which people also have already identified from Ljubljana. But it doesn't matter. This is why I received on January the 24th. When I get to the postal office, the lady goes on according to the audio recording I'm going to play to you later on. And which is also listed here. To explain to me that they did not receive anything. Basically giving me the wrong information, false information. I tell her I received the SMS. Logical thing would be to ask me, can you please show me the SMS? But she goes on and claim me that no, they did not receive anything for me. Uh, and that SMS I received is actually the SMS. Well, she didn't say. But according to her logic, based on what I hear is coming from her mouth, I can make a conclusion. She's suggesting that SMS was sent to me from One Express, Slovenia. Which, obviously, during the conversation I had with her on January the 24th, in the evening hours, I managed to prove her that's not the case. Because I asked her, who is then this we? We received package from One Express. We can only then be the Slovenian Postal Services. You, that's basically. She goes on and she checks on the computer and she tells that they still don't have the package. Once I give her this information, she makes the effort to ask me if I can submit her the number that you see right there, which I received through the SMS, which was her tactic to confuse me on the issues I have discussed a little earlier. Maribor, Slovenia, and this and that. So, you try to fuck me in front of the entire Slovenia by basically suggesting that you did not work here back then, that you didn't do the bad stuff, that you were in Maribor, good girl, and that kind of stuff. Failure. That's what she was using the opportunity for. Once she traces the package, she tells me, I think she tells me, I'm not sure, that they did receive the package, but it will be here for the pickup tomorrow. The next day was the 25th, January of 2024. I leave for the evening, and once I come home, I uh, receive the package. Actually, excuse me, what do you want to call this? The letter or message? written like this awaiting me in a postal box this and what it says here it says date of print is january the 25th 2024 next day in the morning i get this here delivered to my doorsteps does this make sense I don't know. I don't know because I don't work at the postal office, but at the postal office, they do have deliveries, maybe even across the night. They do start sorting out the mail in the mornings, early in the mornings before they open postal office. I can tell you that. 
So in a way, it does make sense. Anyway, based on conversation I had earlier, somewhat not. What definitely doesn't make fucking sense is that they sent me this home. I went on to pick up the package the same day on a 25th, took one, video recorded one, post one on the internet, just so that I could receive another SMS message the next day, which was the 26th. After I already received the fucking package, I get another message, another SMS message, which tells me, today, we are going to deliver you, well, a mentioned package that you have seen above. You understand? Today, we are going to deliver you. And at the same time, it's saying to me, Due to unsuccessful delivery, you will receive new information about possibility of package retrieval uh, collection at the postal office. Yeah, danes smo bomo dostavili pošiljko CF3 ena ob neuspeli vročitvi, boste prijeli obvestilo o možnosti prozema. Wow. Now, if uh, everything would run like this in the world, then I think that people would be running through the red lights, stopping on the green lights. This is insane. As I said, I already collected the package. Once I collected the package, it comes to me, the message, another SMS, that in fact, they will deliver me the package on the 26th, right? I collected one on 25th, and now I get the SMS on 26th, after I already collected the package, that they will deliver me the package. And even further, that they were not successful with package delivery. And I will get the message giving me all the information about the possible collection of the package. Do you know where this SMS came from? I'm not sure whether this SMS came from the same office that I demonstrated you here. That first claimed me they don't have the package at Slovenian Postal Services at all. The second I'm not going to go into it. I had to sign for a package that were two belts and two water pants. Worth altogether like five euros. I had to sign for it. Which is really strange. Extremely strange. The further the message on a 26 SMS message, a new message arrives, there are two parts here. Another message arrives, SMS, like what I demonstrated you above, this stuff here that was also delivered to me. This was delivered to me by this postal office. You, you, I'm sure you understand that these were the people not only that they printed out for me, but I also delivered to me home on 25th. So I went and I picked up the collection. Another message, the SMS that arrives, all, all this shit, if they're, not, if they're not behind this SMS message, they're definitely connected to the postal services of Slovenia because they are government branch. This shit, this office here, this belongs to Slovenian government postal service. Another message arrives, package with the number CF whatever where we were not capable to deliver to you it is waiting for you at the postal office 8105 Novo Mesto Novi Turk yeah this is basically where I ordered 
the package to be delivered. However, this is the package I already collected the day earlier. So there is a certain factor of dementia here involving it, clearly. I mean, there is no precise information given when you need one, as it becomes evident from audio recording. These are the people that it's impossible not to deliver package to. It's no fucking way you cannot deliver to these people here. This is a postal office. And the second thing, they act, therefore, this postal office, like they have no fucking idea whether the package is delivered. As a matter of fact, if I did go to pick it up the package, or I did not go to pick it up the package, whether the package was delivered or was not delivered, which becomes evident from the SMS here, which was delivered to me on a January the 26th. So that this definitely all the time present factor of dementia. And it's this kind of factor of dementia police is using to literally enforce lies. So they would take away from me ability to identify the people properly that were involved in nothing other than crime. If they wouldn't, if they wouldn't be involved in crime, Police would not be doing this kind of stuff. I heard from the Germans and French that I'm going to have to be patient in respect to this issue. I don't appreciate your bullshit talk somehow. Uh, it's a common sense that tells me that international delivery systems make mistakes, make errors. There are certain issues that apply to them. I never complained about any of them. All through, I don't know if there was one package that didn't have most errors done on deliveries. When it comes to international deliveries, I understand that. However, domestic, that it should not make this kind of mistakes, and sometimes, however, that it makes them is what French and Germans claim them, claim me. I have to say that this is not the only mistake like this. It's been mistakes like this done already before. And lately, it's been a lot of mistakes done in respect to inability to deliver to Novomist Postal Office. For the new year, just as a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch promised me, I said, you know, I said, psychiatrist Peter Kutch, you know, I'm dreaming, man. I'm dreaming of a fucking day meeting you and using the same methods for interrogation purposes at the police on you as you had used on me. It's going to be fun. Boy, it's going to be fun. This is no fucking psychiatrist. This is a bastard. This is a criminal that is overdue to go inside of the jail. This gangster runs private clinic here, office, advising people on their psychiatric needs about their mental problems. Works is directly associated with the police. This is the individual we are talking about. We are talking about, I love this picture here. We're talking about this guy here. This is the guy we're talking about. This. This is what we are talking about. This is the individual who had a lot of problems with me for all the reasons I stated to you earlier, which evidently are pertaining to the ethnic cleansing, to the genocide, to extermination practice. When you tell me that a Russian president is Slovenian president, I'm going to tell you, fuck you. I'm going to tell you there is no place for you to be in Slovenia, in so-called Slovenia. Even that Slovenia even have a Russian flag. This is the stuff you're going to go teach somebody else, not me.
Now, when I clarify these issues, what I would also like to do is I would like to go to the audio recordings so that we can understand exactly what we are talking about. And then we're going to go forward with a video. And that way, it's going to give me the opportunity to even um, avoid all the problems I have made in the first part here when I, you know, I, I, I suggested you that I already made some mistakes here in this recording. It's so much more clear. It's so much easier for me to um, simply play clean, nice audio recording. And then based on that audio recording, uh, you will understand exactly what I was what I was going to tell during the video itself. Uh, the video itself I have video recorded was extremely well done. However, there was a major problem with it. Uh, it worked according to the story I was going to tell. But when 50% of this story is missing, I am compelled to change. I'm compelled to change this story and do it best to my abilities to present you the case so that you can understand one. And basically, if I do this, I have already accomplished the main part of it. This is where I received the SMS. Uh, it's you know, January. This is what's coming next. It was recorded on January the 24 of 2024 in the evening hours, around 1900 hours. So I received the SMS. We are the postal office. Dajte prosim pogledat za Ausec Ano, še ki je prišel. Ausec Boštjan pa Ausec Ano. Nisem, da je nekaj prišel, ker sem bil v pore SMS-u. Poročilo. As I stop, as I stop at the postal office, after I get that SMS on 24, this is the SMS here that you see, Say, could you please be kind and look if anything I write for uh, Bustian Ause, that's my name, or Anna Ause, that's my mother's name. One of the two, please, if you could check. Uh, strange enough, the lady doesn't even take much time to return and give me the answer. She just walk inside and out, basically. Her answer is no. Surprising to this SMS, I become unsure even what the fuck this is, this SMS. I said, it's, it's strange because I got the SMS. I got the message from the SMS. So. Uh -huh. uh, what she says is the first SMS is when they receive the package. And then the second SMS is when the package arrives to the postal office. Uh, this is a double meaning. Posta Slovenia, it could be postal office, uh, it could be postal services, Slovenian postal services, and or it could be the postal office we are talking about. Yeah, ne, što si v temu, da je tu bilo dejansko za pošto? Sprejeli smo pošilko. So, this is why I'm unsure. I don't understand what she's talking about. I tell her that the message that I received is the message what appears from Slovenian Postal Services, where it says, we received the package such and such. Yeah, right? If we go down here, it says, we received the package, CF31, etc., from the sender, Express 1, Slovenia. You can track 
a delivery at such and such portal uh, or you can also track one uh, actually you can even change the delivery and or you can track one at whatever and so on and so forth but the thing is that uh, i am not interested i just realized that in a way i probably have even misunderstood because it gives me an option to change the delivery to maybe i have no idea maybe to another location or whatever the thing is that i don't want to complicate all i want is my fucking package the address is listed right there did you see it and when i receive this kind of sms which is a very very irregular thing it did not come very often to me this all i want to do is Come here, pick it up, and go, basically, right? Because this is what I understand. This is a Slovenian government postal office. Now, they do have Slovenian government postal offices throughout Slovenia. And the main postal offices are located in Maribor and in Ljubljana. And Ljubljana is actually, I think, the main one. Or whichever way that the hell it works. So I had no idea at this point that this could, that my package could still be in Ljubljana or it could be at Maribor. I'm also in the evening hours. They're just about, they, they were just about to close down this postal office here. The SMS arrived to me at 13.48 hours. And they close down at 7 p.m. at 1900 hours. It's 1900 hours as I record this. Pošiljatele Express One Slovenia to your dva subistu. Način dostava lahko spremljate in tako naprej. Ja, sam tudi pošilka pošta sprejela, ni pa še bila dana v dostavo. Ok, so the lady tells me, this is, this is the package that a postal office, the postal services, Slovenian postal services received, but they were not yet um, given into delivery. delivery services or whatever you would say yeah so this arrived either to Ljubljana or to Maribor and they received this stuff but they did not get this yet into into distribution meaning delivery and what apparently includes also to other postal units throughout Slovenia, so this is the main postal office in located in the Novo Mesto. To dobite pa še en SMS takrat, ko bo dana v dostavo, oziroma ko bo na tej dotični pošti. Aha, potem povajali tukaj v Novo. So she tells me, because I was confused about this stuff, I was very confused, I wasn't even sure what, what she tell me. So she tells me, you're going to get another SMS, once this package arrives to the Novo Mesto, to this, to this postal office, you're going to get another SMS. Novo Mesto, Paolo, kako reče? Jaz se vedi, da se je verjetno naslovna. Ne, jaz ne vem. She says, yes, of course, it's probably address on this SMS. Samo... There is no address. Uh, she says, you probably did give the address from this location. Kratko malo. To je otečena praksa pošta. 
Okay, Paul, we are... Very, very seldomly I get this this kind of message. And I get used to just do my stuff without any... So I said to her, you will not have any kind of information about it. She says no. Dobro. Then she asked me, what kind of number do you have? So I give her the number, and she realizes that they probably have this kind of number, and she stops checking this on the computer. The nurse. Aya? Aya? Pa se da že potem, ki sporočujem, pa ide pri vas po bratu, ali... Ok, translated this stuff, this is what she suggests me, is located in Maribor. Maribor... Maribor, this is, Maribor is, uh, <laughs> how can I tell you, um, in my terms, in the terms of MK Ultra, when it comes to Maribor, this is a Maribor here that you see right there, in my terms, in terms of MK Ultra, Maribor was a final station, or I should say, postal, also postal, next to the hospitals, they got me in there too. Uh, next to even psychiatric hospital, they have delivered me to during MK Ultra, and it's the hospital the British Royals were also excited about. That's an interesting one. It was just a destination. What I was going to say, Tselia. You see this, this here, this place here. This was just one more destination between Novo Mesto and Maribor. What am I trying to say is, they had a private companies in Maribor, delivery companies where police would drive me to. Uh, through the Tselia, the same thing. Hospital, home for elderly people, uh, postal office, uh, you fucking name it. And it was not pleasant. It was affiliated with nothing other than with torture. You're talking about criminals from Novo Mesto Police. You're talking about this here. This is what we are talking about, this stuff here. With nothing to look forward to. Nothing to be excited about. The item which I received, final call to collect one on January the 25th, 2024, was even affiliated with this item here. And this incident here, for which I'm really, really pleased that I, you know, I had to take, uh, I simply had to go and perform this stuff. This was all coordinated with the police, with the Slovenian police. Here is the item. I mean, if you want details on how now King Charles, Prince Charles that would deliver me for this item, beginning in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, to the Budapest, 2020, to the Budapest, to the Hungary, where guaranteeing me that once I order this item, he will be the one who will get a hold of this item before I would get a hold of this item. 
in the this item definitely i would receive through hungarian postal services through the budapest that's so he would meet with the mayor of the budapest he met with a hungarian with victor orban with the hungarian government and in front of them guaranteed me once i order this watch he would get i would not receive my watch but it would be another watch they would give me they would substitute it with my watch with whatever he would give me obviously garbage obviously he implicated himself yeah why the fuck would i talk about this stuff this is only damage for me when i spoke to you earlier about the united nations about what shouldn't even exist Amnesty International, based on the work performance based on their involvement in it really it's a disgrace human court in strasbourg human rights courts in strasbourg and Europol and interpol and all that it makes problems for me to talk to you about this shit. i would rather to see that clown nowhere in the picture that clown wanted to be on the picture because he wanted to choke me completely. He wanted those chairs to stick so the truth could not enter inside of those rooms where they preside. Inside of their lobbies where they preside their meetings, their sessions. He guaranteed me I would not get this. And also claimed what have beginning the 2011, beginning the 2012, just as I explained in this video, would have a prostate cancer surgery done. Excuse me, would not have a prostate cancer surgery done, but would pretend through the media like is having prostate cancer surgery done while at the same time he would be visiting Budapest to do the stuff like this to me which is doesn't make any fucking sense um In a video, in the beginning of the video, and I'm glad I have not deleted it, I have even come to realize that he must have known how the watch would come to my country, to Slovenia, already in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Through the Hungary, through the Budapest. What I initially have even used as a proof against him, if you go, if you will watch this video, that I under no circumstances would know already in 2015, 2016, 2017, that this watch would come to Slovenia through the Hungary. I had no ways. I didn't even know this watch existed until, I don't know, two months ago. Because this I found this watch was MK Ultra watch. There's a whole story behind this watch. I have spoken about this watch, about how psychiatry was involved in, watch industry was involved in psychiatry. I dedicated, it's another thing, I dedicated an entire video to this watch. That was like two months ago. Early technology of Slovenian police theft steals watch and reminds you mm. 
this is when I started to, this is when I learned about this watch. This is on January the 14th, 2024. Actually, no, earlier. I would love, I would, uh, I would simply love to ignore. I would love to ignore this issue, but here is the watch. And this is the first time I became aware of this watch. And if you look at the date, the date is January the 7, 2024. That is, that's basically a month ago. And I stated here on this blog also, I clearly pointed out that I had no way knowing about this watch till about a month ago. If he would go and do my internet service provider, he would definitely demonstrate you that I never browsed this watch. I never even watched this watch. And I exclusively have purchased this watch because the watch was involved in MK Ultra. So he, Prince Charles, now King Charles wanted to make me look mentally ill by suggesting the world that he ran to the Hungary, to the Budapest, to steal me a fucking watch. And in fact, did not go on a prostate cancer surgery in 2024, therefore. What he announced would do, that's actually quite strange. That's why the dates match so nicely with my order, with a watch order, and with his surgery. Those dates really, really match nicely. They do match nicely. I mean, if you look at if you look at the orders here, the watch I ordered was on January the seventh, two thousand and twenty-four. King Charles, Charles Windsor is no king. Like I said, criminals bear only numbers, not even less and first name. Once you enter inside of the system, you are just a number. It doesn't matter if you are daddy or mommy or king or prince or boss or director or police officer. Once you go behind bars, you are a number without first and last name even. On January the 15th of 2024, when he made an announcement that he will go and do his prostate cancer, prostate surgery, not cancer related, but prostate cancer prevention surgery. And so he wanted me to make the news that, obviously he wanted me to make a news, otherwise he wouldn't take me to Hungary, Budapest, and threatened me that he would take me my watch. So he wanted to make a news that there you fucking have it. I'm going to get, and this time I will go and get your watch. I'm not that insane. I'm not that crazy. In fact, in the video I pointed out that Charles contemplated on the prostate surgery already in 2011 and probably got one done in 2012 with his position even contemplating on doing something with a Facebook, which was repeated then. Even I was told something technologically upgraded that so that he could do something like that and guarantee that there would be nobody that could possibly um, replicate or do it, whatever, that would not be legitimate and so on. He had two positions. His two physicians are two main physicians. He had one physician. I even know one another physician who went on, I think, to retire. I knew all his possessions because I was with him at his fucking clinic. He would take me along. Charles made a bad enemy with himself when he turned against me. He made a better. He made a really bad choice when he opted to place me in the psychiatric hospital. 
That was the worst mistake he possibly could do. Once you go bad, you never come back here. When you make a mistake like this, for me, you're as good as that. We are then locked in a war for good. That was a bad choice. And he dared to even threaten me. He dared to even threaten me. King Charles, King of Britain, even dared to threaten me. January the 7th, I, dude, dude, you'll be better off just fucking killing me. I'm going to be honest with you. Because your threats make no fucking difference to me. They didn't make no fucking difference to me, and they never will make a difference to me. The only difference they're going to make is what I told you. January 7th. And then he makes announcements January 15. If you want information on this part of garbage, Prince Charles had not only Slovenian police involved in it against me. Watch this video. I titled one as a lousy liar. King Charles again lied to public about his prostate surgery. On how he had done one in 2024, where I also point out clearly that it was not only Slovenian police involved in it, but in fact, it, that went, it, went, it, it went really directly got involved with what you see here. Also, Slovenian Prime Minister, this one here, Golop, who began to claim me, who began to claim me. Who began to claim me in front of Prince Charles back then, Prince now King Charles now that they would arrange with Prince Charles, King Charles, a future delivery to Slovenia directly from Hungary instead of what I was suggested was Germany. And or Austria, Vienna, even. So the private companies, whatever fucking private companies were, maybe even TNT. I have no idea. I know all these people. They would deliver me packages, literally making fool out of me when they would have me drugged up. They would stop by and present themselves whichever way they want. Those people, those clowns, claimed me. It's impossible to, for me to know whether they were telling me the truth. The most that it hurts about these Slovenian people who would deliver work for these private companies is that when I was asking them, they were looking at the person that was right next to them. And based on my observation, based on my reading face, based on my reading their facial expressions, I came to conclusions they lied. Well, in that case, they lied for the British man, for the man that is not even British, but is somebody who moved from Germany to Britain. In that case, they lied for some Saksikabur, Gotha, Windsor, Dudes from London to fuck somebody up that is Slovenian native, literally through that even more damage, even more psychiatric damage. And for that kind of Slovenian people, I don't give a three fuck about. I couldn't get more disillusioned and more disappointed and more pissed off than with. I wouldn't even refer to them as my own people anymore. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with this. So these people started to claim me that this watch would not enter Slovenia from anywhere else other than from Hungary. In the future, but until 2019, even 2020, that this watch exclusively was delivered 
from Germany to Slovenia, exclusively from Germany to Europe as an entry point, literally through the Vienna or from the Germany, that the private companies would deliver them if ordered from eBay or from AliExpress instead of Hungary, the watches, this item would arrive from Germany or from Austria. So it could well be that Prince Charles, now King Charles, smelled that wouldn't be difficult for me to see that he is lying. Is he make me a threat that you will fuck me like this? Uh, beginning the 2015 and 2016, and you see me that I have still not ordered the watch. And it is the year 2017 when you continue to repeat me that you will go and do your uh, surgery, your prostate cancer surgery. Once I order this watch, so that you will go and confiscate me the watch. It's not difficult to point out for the guy that because it was 2017 that he started to make this kind of arrangement with Golob, with Fayon, with Pahor, with Slovenian parliament. That the guy was actually trying to steer suspicion away about my suggestion that well you know the watch always arrived through the Hungary since he threatened me since he would deliver me to Hungary why the fuck would he deliver me to Hungary in the first place now I just realized that he lied I just realized that he had Slovenian government lied. I I just realized that he had that the claims that they were claiming me that this watch is never entered Slovenia from the Hungary was a lie. I believe that the first thing he did was he, he learned everything about where the watch can be intercepted already beginning in 2015. And that was literally through the Hungary. Then because it went for too long, then because it went for too long, he changed the story and demanded Slovenian government officials such as Tanya Fayon, Robert Golob, and other parliamentarians with the private postal services companies to lie me in the face during the NBA trial on how this watch is. They have made an arrangement. What them? Someday in the future, through the Hungarian postal services. If you mind for the truth, what I think, where the truth is in between, I think that already other private services, private company, whichever substituted. One Express Slovenia, which appeared in 2022, as I explained in this video. I believe they all delivered. Now I do. They all but all delivered through the Hungary. It's just a different name of the company, I think. That's what I think. Now. However, the best is to watch the video. Charles, this is a fuck wind. This is whichever way the wind blows. His work is work like a water. It's like you want to grab your, your water and put it in your pocket and go with it. That's how much his word is worth. That's the value of his word. He's a psychotic liar, psychopath. So, yeah, sure, you can. In respect to the watch, in respect to the item, basically, I'm talking about in this video here. In respect to this watch, this is about watch. As you're going to see in continuation, it's got a lot to, uh, to do with the watch. And very likely, is, it's a possibility. All through, Slovenian police also insisted me there are sellers from AliExpress that it's kind of funny. However, they would make you sign. Even for the package, it's just worth 5 euros. 
if those of the like AliExpress deliveries, and it's what Slovenian police stated me because AliExpress has sales for the new year, is what Slovenian police claimed me. Yeah, for the new year they make sales, and you get to choose items like for instance this year, and they deliver you that for. It's the first time I'm doing this in my life, people. This was the first winter shopping at AliExpress like this that I have done. I have never done any before. And so it's what they, they claim me. Uh, if it's especially if it's for a little money that costs very little money, that's when they want you to sign for it. And they want you to, obviously, that, that you get the SMS and you get a fucking written invitation to come to the postal office, if that makes any sense. This package only was worth five euros. I don't understand why all the packages that I ordered earlier that were worth so much more money, uh, I didn't have to sign for them. This is what I don't understand. They were the same packages like the one you see it. It was worth more money. This one here was worth at seven fifty. Then you see another one here. The same thing. This is all six. This one here, five. This one here, eight. Why I didn't have to sign for this packet here that was eight euros? That that makes uh, that makes me feel strange. That this was the, the, the cheapest package of all the packages, yet I would have to sign for one. This one here is eight sixty-five. I didn't have to sign for it. Nothing. Nothing. But the package arrives that's worth barely five euros. This was the package that you see right here, this, for five euros. And you have to go and sign for it? For the two watch bands and one belt? Actually, for four watch bands and one belt, value five euros, now you have to go sign for it? At the same time, you're waiting for this item here. And appears that this is the item that you don't have to sign? Or how is it? Because I still didn't get anything. Any information on this item when this item is going to arrive so today is february the 5th 2024 i still have to go to the postal office but i i haven't received any any notification that in fact this item arrived which you're going to see in continuation already was reported to have arrived to the postal office long, long 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 ago actually if i go and i give you Track information about this stuff. It says the delivery the delivery was unsuccessful. Why the fuck was the un the, the delivery unsuccessful? Can you fucking explain to me this? This is a posta Slovenia posta restante. This is this is this here. This is this here. That I the, the item that I demonstrated you earlier, this is this here, this. They don't know where this postal office is. You know what kind of clusterfuck this is? It's not good. Look at it. You go fucking dizzy with this stuff. This is a fucking postal office. So what is it? Now you don't know where the postal office is? It's not big enough. We have to maybe is it too small for you? And why is this information matching the SMS, basically? Why the fuck are you telling me that you don't know? You don't know where this address is. Basically, what are you saying to me here? I'm going to tell you what they say. They say like this. January 8th, order has been packed into the large shipment and ready for delivery company to pick it up. On the 9, it's already at the processing sorting center. Export custom clearance started on January the 10th. Export custom clearance completed January the 10th. Leaving country of origin. Departure country. Departed from departure country region. Well, it's about the same thing with different words, isn't it? It says here, January the 13th, 
2024, it says, arrived at line hall office, arrived at the customer, customs, January the 14th. This is when the next day, King Charles, Prince Charles filed, will have his prostate cancer surgery done. So he announced, if you watch my video, I suggested you earlier to watch, you're going to realize this fucking data matches. 100% it matches. So now it's in Hungary. And the next day, Prince Charles decided will disappear off the picture. We'll have his prostate cancer surgery done. He didn't have a cancer. I'm just saying prostate surgery. And now the import clearance started. It departed from the customs. It cleared the customs. Hungarians seems like they did a very good day. Because on the 15th, the next day, it already arrives from Hungary to Slovenia, which is a good job. I don't think the Hungarians were interested in playing with his watch. And now it sits in Ljubljana. Beginning the January the 15th, it sits in Ljubljana. And it's the January the 15th when Charles files for that. He opts for that prostate surgery. And it sits in Ljubljana. My item is sitting either in Maribor or Ljubljana. I have no fucking idea. Whichever location cleared one from the customs. It goes through the customs. It's received by the local delivery company. And now it's out for delivery. Beginning the 16th, it's out for delivery. And it somehow cannot make it. The January the 16th, it's out for delivery. And on the January the 26th, it says right there, the item was not successfully delivered. It was actually unsuccessful. It was not delivered. So clearly, we are not talking about the item that was given to me. These were the items that were delivered to me that you see right here. Right? Clearly, we are not talking about the items that were given to me. Items I had to sign for. How not? How the fuck not? Here is the SMS. Look at it. Here is the fucking SMS. What it says here. So that's why I said, what the fuck are you talking about? If you remember earlier, what the fuck are you talking about? You're going to go and you're going to, you're going to give me what? You're going to give me a, on, on, you're going to be, the, on a 26, you're saying to me, on a 26, you're saying to me for the same item. Look at it. Right? Just compare this. You're going to say to me what now? Did you what? What now? That you did not uh, successfully deliver what? What is it that you did not successfully deliver? How the fuck have you not successfully delivered if I already signed for it? If I signed for it on the 25th, the day earlier, how have you not successfully delivered? For fuck's sake. Of course you did deliver successfully. Of course you delivered it successfully. Question is, what exactly have you delivered? Because these numbers here do match. They are the same numbers. And the time frame, the square, as you see here, is perfect.
Do you see it? Are these the same numbers? They're the same numbers. What about here? It says from Wednesday, January the 24th to Friday, January the 26th. So how the fuck are you saying now that delivery was unsuccessful? You're saying it was unsuccessful, dude. It was unsuccessful because you did not know where the postal office is? Or because you made me sign for the chip item? They did not even require the signature. And in fact, you have stolen my item at Novo Mesa Police. By the Novo Mesa Police, yes. By the Novo Mesa Police at the Novo Mesa Postal Office. On behalf of this psychopath here, did you see? Who lied, by the way. Who lied that is all kinds of theories that is the chief item, however, that you have to sign and so on. So what is with this stuff here? Which one? Which one is it then that you did not know where to deliver? Because both have the same addresses, to the same location, the same fucking postal office. This one, the price is five. And this one I got for the cost, for this cost, because it was with a reduced price. So the question here is, which one is it that you did not know? Which one is it that you did not know? That it was unsuccessful delivery and la 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 la. What? Today we will deliver you the package due to unsuccessful delivery you will receive another sms about how to receive the package how to collect the package the package number the same fucking number again the same fucking number as was the sms on january the 24th two days earlier claims on a 26 further that we were not capable to deliver you a package package is waiting for you at the postal office at the normal mesto novi turkey center etc the postal office that i demonstrated you so that you know this fucking evidence this fucking dementia as i said at the beginning of this video it's a fucking rape not quadruple but multiply with a million a waste of time ladies and gentlemen because this video already is one hour and 52 minutes long and because i have proven beyond any doubts that i did sign for a package that was not the package i should sign for and in fact the watch another watch yet another watch was stolen from me yeah, now you have proven that the SMS that you sent me was the SMS that had nothing to do with the item which eventually I have even signed for. And beyond any doubt, since I collected the item on January the 25th of 2024, and it's where I'm going to go to the next recording, You at the Novo Mesto Postal Office have entered the information for the watch as the item that still was not delivered. So that you actually went and you abused your authority, your whatever you want to call that integrity to work at the government postal office and have proceeded after demanded from me to sign for some items that had nothing to do with it entered the information on your own that's at the postal office which my people demonstrated you at
for the item that I should in fact receive that the item never ever was delivered. And the proof I'm going to use are the SMS, all that stuff. What else for me to say? This is the end of the part one where I prove that I did sign for the package. In fact, that was not to be the package signed for and the package that was there to be signed for or watch was in fact again stolen with director employees of Novomesto, main Novomesto postal office entering false information deliberately again into a government computer into a government database which is eventually connected to international database so you're fooling basically people in hungary you're fooling this chinese postal office delivery options they have you're fucking fooling the whole world not only me here and you're using literally your work your employment at slovenian government to just do that Something I have actually knew is going to happen. Something I was even told is going to happen. And that's how I'm going to leave you with the last video recording, which I have completed on upon delivery of this item of two of four watch bands and one belt on January the 25th of 2024. Let's look how that went, because this is the original pickup of the item from this postal office. You're seeing me picking up the stuff inside of the postal office. I pull the camera out. I'm walking out of the postal office against the law. For the watch, however, I was prompted that I should do exactly this. So there would be no doubt left behind. That in fact, it was this item that was received on January the 25th, 2024 and none other. And it will therefore leave no doubt about the item which is still stolen and probably held at the local police station. If not at this psychopath that refers himself as a psychiatrist and was the one who planted all this stuff. Will you pay close attention? You will notice that I have spoken about the corpses hidden inside of the closets at the police station and inside of his office. The two videos I dedicated to him which was on January the 10th and January the 12th. As I also point out, all sorts of torture, abuse, which went on inside of this house by the so-called police, the so-called Slovenian police, which have barricaded itself indoors and commenced the torture related to AliExpress and eBay. The original this, pickup? This is absolutely not normal. Uh, it's absolutely not normal because... This, this is absolutely not normal. 
uh, it's absolutely not normal because uh, this stuff supposedly came even from uh, Maribor, uh, for which uh, Slovenian novel mesto criminals employed at the police station claimed would even have to commute themselves whenever I would be receiving the watch. Basically. Yes, they were taking me to the. They were taking me to. They were taking me to the cell. Yeah. Yes. Criminals from Novomesto police station. Promised me when the watch would come, they would even have mailmen from Slovenian postal services, government services, deliver the watch to the Celia, leave one at the Celia unit, postal office Celia, and would commute with me to the Celia postal office. It's where they told me they would steal the watch and substitute one with some garbage or maybe simply make one disappear. Beforehand, one would even receive to the city of the Novo Mesto. As you see, the watch did arrive to the city of the Novo Mesto. And it becomes evident, in fact, that employees at this postal office in Novo Mesto were those that continued to simply steal, switch with the police with the local psychiatrists, on behalf of Milan Kuchan, on behalf of Tanya Fayon, on behalf of Borut Pahor, you know? You see this? You see this stuff here? It's uh, funny to note how uh, British, who so much object publicly to what is known as a communism, this man was enrolled in Association of the Communists of the Republic of the Yugoslavia. And as I explained earlier, Vladimir Putin was still he had to do with the communism as much as I have to do with the last year's snow today. But it came handy when they were purchasing options from other countries such as China, Cuba and so on to get the support for the ethnic cleansing in the name of some kind of justice and so on here in Slovenia. No, no, Chinese did realize that this individual is not legitimate actually. Chinese realized that there was everything wrong with all this stuff, that nothing was really fine with it. And you can see him here exchanging handshakes with the British Queen, just like Vladimir Putin did. You know, Google that Putin and British royals and all that stuff, and then you can get to see basically what that looked like. Because this was the man, this was the man who had in 2017 deliver in my face these two people on behalf of what became known as a King Charles Windsor Charles Windsor to claim me that what in fact He would make sure that he would come to Slovenia through Hungary. After realizing it, he already had for three years in a row claimed me. By taking me to Hungary, to Budapest. On how he would take time. To complete his surgery 
when I would order this watch so that he would have one switch with a broken swap watch and so on. So he got he got totally addicted to these people here. He got totally addicted to the coaching, which I'm really, really not surprised. So look at that picture. How do you like this one here? Yeah, I started to fucking like it, man. I didn't believe in it for a very long time. But to tell you the truth, I would not want to believe now. I would not want to believe. I would not fucking accept anything else than this, than what you see here. I wouldn't accept. I wouldn't accept it any different way. This is in Slovenia. So that you can clearly see that King Charles sticked his nose in a shit, in a pile of shit. Can have stink United Nations, can have stink Amnesty International, can have stink European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg through the European Alpharas. For apparatus, the same shit like in the Soviet Union, the same people like in the Soviet Union. He is stink European Parliament in Brussels and made sure. He would step even out of the European Union to protect his, I'm not going to even say what. So the case resolved at my satisfaction now, clearly is pointing out everything, even what I predisposed the case is going to be. Let's go and I'm going to play you again. I have nothing else to say. End of the part one. I'm going to go to the part two where I'm going to open the package. This, this is absolutely not normal. Uh, it's absolutely not normal because uh, this stuff supposedly came even from uh, Maribor. Uh, for which uh, Slovenian novel Mesto criminals employed at the police station claimed would even have to commute themselves whenever I would be receiving the watch, basically. The, the watch that I ordered. So what we have most likely here is by my signing right now maybe even for the watch you understand and what probably will happen is watch will arrive one of these days like an ordinary mail because inside in here is just a belt i feel this is a belt and i cannot even figure out what else is in there but it's not much so I probably have signed for something else right now, you know, I probably have signed for something else. I will investigate this stuff at home uh, to basically see what the situation is. What I stated to you right now was a scenario that Slovenian police was the one brainwashed me with all so they would do. They would literally have me sign for the packages in which I would receive uh, regular merchandise well, to, for the watches and stuff like this that you do have to usually sign a knowledge those would arrive simply like a piece of regular mail and that's actually how the mail packages related to something like this I, I was told, this is what I was brainwashed with is even intercepted modified which i actually doubt because with so many items they bought from the aliexpress i told you for the bell clips they collected them from novomest all the way to ljubljana it would be rather really 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 strange that you know they would have no capacity whatsoever to 
switch the item quickly at their convenience. So now if they wanted to make longer bullshit, longer video, uh, that probably will be the case, case of what I told you. So the next time, the only thing that's gonna happen is whenever that will be, it will be a regular watch that uh, would arrive. So I'm gonna post this online today. I'm gonna ask seller if this is what he is packaged when he shipped the watch. Uh, you know, if the label is associated with that package or something like this. I am going to investigate this in another words. I also was told that when uh, I received this kind of notification that the watch most likely uh, already like yesterday when I was here in the evening time when I, I received the SMS, they brainwashed me or that SMS sms that when i receive the sms like this it's because the package uh, is already good for the pickup in the city of the novel mist that's why i came in the evening hours just before they closed the postal office <laughs> what else they brainwashed me with a uh, police hyped me if you will not come up to three o'clock i will come to the postal office and switch the watch if you will not come up to uh, 6 o'clock 100%, I will come and steal your watch and switch the watch with another watch that is already broken and so on. They drove insane with these issues. It took them many, many years to play with this kind of issues. To brainwash to, so that I would perform according to their expectations. This is not a watch. This is a regular belt is inside, I can tell. And there is some other stuff. Uh, most likely there are two belts in here and one balaclava. And I doubt it for the cheapest package that I received. This is just a package for five euros here. Amazing, 170 was each item that I would actually have to sign for it. You know, I doubt that I would have to sign for this package and uh, that you know the other package was uh, is the package that you know I am gonna go and ask because I think this stinks something stinks here already something here is like really really no good I doubt actually about this stuff now, I am not going to close this video just of yet. Uh, there is something very important I have not completed here. And those are actually audio recordings here I mentioned. It's eventually it's crucial for me to give you also translation of the audio recordings which we started. So that was the first audio recording I did, which was on January the 24th, 2024. I translated to you. And now I'm going to also go on January the 25th, 2024. I do like to translate that one to you. Sorry, this is just the information that I should go and pick up the, the package at the local office. So this one here. Uh -huh. They tell me, come back next day. The audio, if you doubt authenticity, <laughs> The audio, if you doubt the authenticity, is posted right here for you. So you have everything provided on this page here. You're going to have absolutely everything provided here for you. For your convenience, everything here will be provided. Of course, keep in mind this is part one of two. There is a second part that's going to come. And that part probably is going to take even three hours away from me. That's the second part is opening. However, I have to so much to relate to you about what went on inside of the house, our house here in Novo Mesto, where police barricaded itself for 32 years and performed torture on me, brainwash.
Okay. 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 Excuse me, not 32 years. Uh, they did not perform torture for 32 years. MK Ultra went on since the day we moved to this house, and this was pretty much at my age of 11. I am 52 now, so go ahead and count. 41 years. Neighbors, village people, police, it never stopped. From the old house to the new house, it never stopped. On this recording, you have uh, what I enter next. is the next day. I appear again at the postal office in Novo Mesto. Uh, so, Novi Turk 7. And uh, it's January the 25th of 2024. Here, important is to pay attention to the signature. They require the signature. This is what I signed for. Signature coming next. January 25th. Uh, yeah. January 25th, we're looking for the signature. Please at your postal office because I got this note from you to stop by and I'm here to pick up the package yes there you go there you have it and would also like to ask if you can tell me the lady I have spoken to yesterday the day earlier on a 24, therefore, was that your main director, your boss? She says to me, yes, she is a boss. Yes, she was. And I remind her, there was the lady who would open office about two, three hours earlier also. Before the office would, postal office would even open and so on, yeah? They don't want to hear any of it. If this place, torture went on inside even during the daily hours, weekly days. <laughs> Interesting. I anticipate they're going to have my name out. I anticipate that based on the package. I ordered, which was obviously a watch I came to pick it up. 
I am surprised it was listed my name. I am surprised because I listed the package under the name of my mother. And she says, no, it's not your name. It's not your mother's name. It's your name. I express her disbelief. I tell her it's strange to me. She is asking about the address and everything, and I am signing for it electronically. You want to hear this again? Okay. So there you have it. And this was the recording also for January the 25th of 2024. So on this tape you had January recordings at the postal office for January the 24 of 2024. Evening hours at 7 o'clock and identically almost the next day, January the 25th of 2024. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have anything else to say. Um, stay tuned for part two. I now will go and do the part two. However, not today. It's now almost 1400, probably not today. And that will be probably done tomorrow. However, it's proven that I've been signing for the items that did not require a signature. And that too has been used to eventually... Uh, now, demand me more. It doesn't really matter. It, it really, it, look, it, it, it finally, it doesn't matter whether I sign or not, because I got used to that everything comes to Slovenian Postal Services, everything is stolen. Replaced, replicated with some, whatever they want to insert in it to present their brainwash to the world, uh, basically to present me as demented person through their violent world of psychiatry, whatever you want to call it. We don't even know who Vladimir Putin is. When you say a Russian president uh, really he is a individual in question that would have more common with British royals than anybody else, who the hell knows. Uh, but it bothers that these people here from Novo may have referred to the Russian presidents as Slovenian presidents and demanded from me to uh, allow them basically to to basically slaughter me for the ritual 
purpose, basically for the ritual's sake. Really without any, any justification or anything like this, but just, just for the joke, just for the fuck of it. So, Charles, you're a sick man. You're extremely sick man. Charles demanded from me implicating this exact, exact watch piece demanded from me to guess more whether it was Slovenian side that tried to fuck me or was he the one etc 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 British royals especially Prince William Prince Harry both I wouldn't even go in Prince Andrew but they enjoy torture physical torture torment uh, inflicting pain injury suffering to the human being like nobody else in this world uh, if anybody whoever was involved in MK Ultra, uh, all the videos all the video recordings everything that went on went straight into their hands so that they could watch basically apart from it uh, addicted to the violence addicted to, to torture to see the human suffering so I don't know how do you call this kind of disease you love to talk about Joseph Stalin you love to talk about Eastern European dictators and I don't know what you're fucking sick you're sicker than Joseph Stalin was I don't know really if Joseph Stalin was doing it for the pleasure he was doing awfully dirty stuff but I know you have I know that you enjoyed I know that you had a satisfaction maybe even orgasms on torture you performed on me on torture you committed to me against me February the 5th 2024 end of the part one of two next two of two we're gonna open this package and go from there